Fushimi Inari Shrine and the Rashiyama Monkey Forest are two must-do activities to add to your Kyoto trip. We visited Kyoto at the start of April, during the heights of spring, and it was very crowded. Nonetheless, the trip was worthwhile. We started off with Fushimi Inari Shrine, which is conveniently located directly across from Inari Station, which is an 8 minute train ride from Kyoto Station. At the entrance of the shrine, you can see the Roman Gate. Behind the gate is the shrine's main hall. At the very back of the shrine's main grounds is the entrance to the hiking trail, completely covered by Tori Gates. The complete hike takes about 2-3 to three hours. Don't worry, you are allowed to turn back if you get tired. There are also a few stops along the way where you can buy food such as udon and fried tofu. If you are wondering, the shrine is always open and it's free to enter. And no, if you're wondering, we did not complete that three hour hike. We just couldn't do it. However, before leaving the shrine, be sure to check out the souvenir shops. Here are some of what we found on our visit.
After leaving Inari, we headed over to the beautiful town of Arashiyama. Arashiyama is a hub of activities and attraction, one of which is the Monkey Park Iwatayama. It is open between the hours of 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. The cost is 600 yen for adults and 300 yen for children. It takes 20 minutes to hike to the top of Iwatayama. I won't lie, the hike is not a simple walk over, but it is definitely worth it to get to the top. On the plus side, you do get to see a few monkeys along the trail. Once you get to the top, the view is breathtaking. At the top is also where the largest concentration of monkeys can be found. Keep in mind, you are not allowed to touch or feed the monkeys for safety reasons because they might attack you if you do. Only the attendants are allowed to feed them, except if you're in the designated area. Okay, here is that designated area that I mentioned before. So if you're inside this building, you get to feed the monkeys and probably touch them if they come close enough. If you're not inside this building, do not attempt to feed or touch the monkeys. Did I mention that you can see all of Kyoto from up here? Yeah, you can.
all in all, it was a worthwhile experience and I would definitely recommend that if you're in Kyoto, add this to your list of things to do. Take that 20 minute hike. It might take you 30 minutes like it did for me, but it's worthwhile. It's definitely a worthwhile experience. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos.